Hello guys, welcome to the 8th session of create custom Alexa skin using AWS Lambda function tutorials for beginners. In this session, we will create our first Lambda function and configure it in our skin. To create Lambda function, we need to log in to Amazon's AWS account. If you are not subscribed, then you can create a new account which will provide free subscription for 12 months. I have already signed up, so logged in it. Here is a list of services that AWS provides. We are interested to create Lambda function, so search for it. Here is a list of Lambda function. It will be displayed if you have created any. Note that when you are creating Lambda function for Alexa, then we must need to check region in which this function will be developed. Currently, it supports only 4 regions which includes Tokyo, Ireland, North Virginia, and Oregon. I am using North Virginia. Click on Create Function button. We can create a function from scratch or import it from Blueprint or Repository. There are several Lambda function blueprints for Alexa exists, such as Fact Skill, Trivia Skill, Smart Home, etc. Throughout this series, we will create from scratch, so select it. Let us write my first lambda for the function name. Lambda function supports various runtime platforms such as .NET, Java, Node, Python. Throughout this series, we will use Node.js. If you are new, then you don't have any role, so select create a custom role. I'm going to create a new role with name lambda basic execution new. Click on Allow button. Here it will automatically select the role that we have created. And click on Create button. Here our Lambda function created. Scroll down. Here is the code editor for editing our function. There are three different ways to generate a response to Alexa skin. First is simply generate a JSON object as per response. We have seen in the previous session. Second is using Alexa SDK of version 1. We will see it in the session 15 and 16. And third is using Alexa Core SDK that is version 2 along with some components of Alexa SDK. Throughout this series, I will use all three ways but the primary focus will be on using Alexa Core SDK. In this couple of sessions, I will generate response object manually. In next session, I will use Alexa SDK for that. Here I am going to create a new function which will generate simple response object from a text message that passes a parameter. Here I am going to create a new function which will generate simple response object from a text message that passes in a parameter. Write function make response. It takes the text as a parameter. Let us create response object. Set any value in version. Within output speech, I am going to written plain text. That is pass in parameter. And after this response, our session will not end and written response. Here in handler, we will get context and callback along with event. For testing purpose, I am going to call this function regardless request type or intent type. For sending a response to Alexa, we need to use context.succeed method. Within that, I am calling make response method and pass Hello from Lambda. And save function. Here is ARN for our function. ARN stands for Amazon Resource Name. It uses to identify function uniquely. It includes region and function name. Copy it. 
Open Alexa console. Click on the endpoint. We can provide endpoint from AWS Lambda or HTTPS website. Here we have created Lambda function so select AWS Lambda ARL. We can use different endpoint for a different region. Paste our Lambda ARN in default ARN. Here is a skill ID. Copy it. In configuration tab, expand designer. Add Alexa skill kit. Scroll down and paste your skill ID here. Click on add and save function. And also save endpoint. Note that we must need to add Alexa scale gate in the trigger before saving endpoint. Here we have successfully added Alexa scale gate in our lambda functions trigger. Means this lambda function will invoke only it is receiving a request from Alexa scale. Let us open test step. If you open this first time, then you need to enable. From here, we can write text or use microphone to start a conversation. Let us write first demo, that is, skill invocation name. Here we got a response. Here is a JSON data that will send to our Lambda function and here is a JSON written by generated our Lambda. For testing, we need to add test event in Lambda function for testing. This is an example of launch request. Copy this request JSON data. Expand dropdown. Click on configure test event. Here we will create a new test event with name launch request. And paste JSON data here. Click on create button to create test event. Let us send hello. Here it sends request from hello intent. Copy this JSON. Again create a new event with name hello event. And paste the code. Click on create button to create test event. Let us send my name is Nilay. It sends request from display greetings intent. Here it also includes person name in the slot. Copy this JSON. Create a new event. Display greetings. And paste the code. Let us send I like Python. It sends a request to fabric language intent. It includes language name in the slot. Again copy JSON. Create a new event, fabric language and paste the code. Click on create button. In this session we have created lambda function, integrated with Alexa scale kit and added test event for all intents. In next session, we will update our lambda function to response as per request. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.